So today I want to introduce you to a brand new math concept for Algebra 2 called a logarithm. Um, so logarithms, we often shorten it as log. And this is what it looks like. Um, we say log base 3 of 27 equals y. Okay, so that's how we read it. Okay, log base 3 of 27 equals y. Now, what this is, is it's another way to write exponents. Okay, so when you see logs, here's what you should think. 3 to the y power equals 27. So we can rewrite logarithms as exponents, okay, which is what we did over here. 3 to the y power equals 27. So logarithms become an inverse of exponents, which is going to be really, really helpful. Right now, what we want to focus on is just going back between the two, okay, so from logarithmic form to exponential form. So we'll just practice with this. So we have log base 2 of 8 equals 3. So what you're thinking is 2 to the third equals 8. 2 to the third equals 8. These mean the same thing. They're just written in two different forms. Log base 4 of 16 equals 2. You're thinking 4 to the second power equals 16. Log base 4 of 1 over 2, 56 equals negative 4. 4 to the negative 4 equals that fraction. And log base 3 of 729 equals 6. What you're thinking is 3 to the 6 equals 729. Okay. Now something else I want you to notice is we call this the base. It's log base 3, and notice that's also the base of the exponent. Okay. So just keep that in mind as you're going back and forth. So now we want to go the other direction. I've given you exponents, and we want to turn them into logarithms. So the base, it's going to be log base 15, and then the exponent goes over here. So log base 15 of 3375 equals 3. On the next one, notice the 4 is the base of the exponents, so it's log base 4. And then the exponent goes way over here. So 4 to the 1 half equals 2 is log base 4 of 2 equals 1 half. The next one, you've got another base of 4. So log base 4, exponent goes all the way over here, of 64. So log base 4 of 64 equals 3. And this one has a base of 125. Exponent goes all the way over here. So we have log base 125 of 5 is 1 third. So that's just going back and forth. Um, we're going to skip this little section for now. We'll come back to it. Um, so we want to practice just evaluating these, OK? We're going to use what we just talked about um, with exponents and see if we can figure out what these are, OK? Um, I want to pick an easy one to do first. Mm, I guess I'll pick this one. Okay, so what I'm thinking is 3 to what power gives me 81? If you need to use your calculator to try some stuff out, you can, but I'm pretty sure it's 3 to the 4th power equals 81. All right, um, let's try this one down here. So I'm thinking 4 to what power gives me 64? And I'm pretty sure it's 4 to the 3rd. All right, uh, let's come to this one. 2 to what power gives me 64? Um, you might have to try this on your calculator a little bit. I think it's 6. 2 to the 6 power gives me 64. Over here I'm thinking 100 to what power gives me 10,000, uh, which is just 100 squared. And let's do number 8. I'm thinking 8 to what power gives me 1? And that's definitely going to be 0 because anything to the 0 power gives you 1. Okay, let's go back and uh, fill in some of the other ones. So I'm thinking 16 to what power gives me 4? Now notice I've gotten smaller. Um, so like obviously it can't be 16 to the first power because that's no good. Um, and I can't make a negative because that would be 1 16th. So, oh, I think I've got it. It's a square root, isn't it? So because we know that the square root of 16 is 4. And the square root is the same thing as the one-half power. 
So that's what I need. 16 to the 1 half power is 4. Um, I think that works with number 7 as well. I'm thinking 25 to what power gives me 5? Well, I know the square root of 25 is 5, which is 25 to the 1 half. So this is 1 half. Okay, um, number 3. I saved that one for last because it's the trickiest. 1 half to what power gives me 256? I might need to write that down. 1 half to what power gives me 256? Now, in order to turn this so it's not a fraction, I am pretty sure that this is going to have to be negative. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of guess and check with my calculator because honestly, I don't know the answer. Um, oh, it's 8. It's going to be a negative 8. Okay, last one here. Um, we have 3. We're thinking 3 to what power gives us 0? Um, and that's actually not going to work because like 3 to the first is 3 and 3 to the 0 is 1 and 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third. So there's actually no solution to this. Okay, you can't take the log of 0. So you don't bother trying. All right, we will um, investigate some more stuff about logs in the next video.